Hi, my name is Vitotas Butrimas. For those of you who watched the first two MLMs on Ukraine, I have added an epilogue to update us on the recent Russian invasion of Ukraine. There are some valuable lessons to learn. I will briefly mention them. The Russian invasion of Ukraine that began on February 24th, 2022, featured both traditional military kinetic attacks against Ukrainian critical infrastructure, as well as the use of cyber attacks. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant experienced an attack and occupation by Russian military forces, which included tanks firing at the administrative parts of the plant, but did not target the reactor itself. With the start of the invasion, there were reports of cyber attacks on VSI uh, satellite terminals used in Ukraine. These attacks eventually spread through the VSAT control network to other customers in Europe. For example, a wind farm operator in Germany lost their communications devices used by SCADA systems to remotely monitor and control the windmills. Satellite-based communications with their large footprints on the ground offer the advantage of providing communication links to remote and hard to reach locations such as wind farm location offshore in the ocean. It is believed that the cyber attack consisted of placing a bad firmware update on the satellite communications devices, which essentially required the replacement of over 5,800 terminals. The following are the key messages from this MLM. Sadly, the use of traditional military force on objects belonging to critical infrastructure has not gone out of fashion. In the initial actions of the war, the Russian aggressor chose not to use the advantages of stealth and deniability to disable their chosen targets. Putting boots on the ground is a much faster solution if the aggressor no longer cares if the world knows what they did. This was the case in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. However, cyber attacks were later discovered that targeted satellite-based communications. This attack was able to spread over the ground footprint of the satellite in Europe. A key difference as opposed to a kinetic attack is the precision found in the cyber attack which targeted the satellite modems. Very interesting to note that as with the NotPetya malware attack on Ukrainian accounting systems in 2017, which later spread to other countries and affected industrial operations, something similar seemed to happen with the satellite attacks that spread to Central Europe. Collateral damage is also a feature of cyber attacks when nations are in conflict. So be on your guard. For further information, take a look at the previous MLMs on earlier cyber attacks on Ukraine's power grid. There is also a learning map to provide a wider picture of what Chief Information Security Officers, CISOs, should know about industrial cybersecurity, especially if they are tasked with the responsibility of ensuring the cybersecurity of the physical operations of the enterprise. There is also an interesting article to follow up on this MLM.